Will, I know a special weekend for you. It's great to have you. And, well, now to be a part of the UC Irvine Hall of Fame, what's it feel like today waking up a Hall of Famer this morning? I mean, it's. I feel like it's been a great experience. I love to have my friends and family here. And then I feel like I see so many familiar faces from when I was in college and then especially the new generation seeing the new Irvine team and everything like that, new court. And I feel like the same things are going on, playing hard on defense and everything like that. And then they've been playing a great game so far, and we hope to keep it up. I know you really follow this UC Irvine team closely. We saw you in Las Vegas when UC Irvine was in their MTE in Henderson, the building that you play in in the G League right now. So Hawaii gets a bucket from De Silva. But um, for you to, to, to stay in contact, follow along, what's it like now as a former player watching these guys? It It's a different experience because I feel like just – when I was at Irvine, watching from the bench, I'm like, okay, I'm seeing it from the outside in. But actually, as a professional, watching it from the outside yeah. in, I'm I'm seeing it from almost a coaching standpoint. And I just I just love I feel like I love basketball, so I love to see it that way and everything like that. And it's uh, it's funny seeing Coach Turner still <laughs> still doing his hard coaching style and everything like that. But uh, but it's been a great experience so far. We're seeing some pictures right now of your time here when you led UC Irvine to the NCAA tournament for the first time back in 2015. And this team trying to be the third UC Irvine team to go to the big dances. The Silva just going to work inside. I know you wouldn't have given up that bucket. The freshman Welling, he's coming no along chance. though. <laughs> but for you to, to think back at those days, what do you remember about that run of the NCAA tournament? I feel like it was just, it was perfect timing. Um, I knew it was my senior year, so I knew that we were going to um, make it that that year. I, I just knew we were going to make it. I felt it in my soul because we had been to the championship game. We had we had worked so hard in my three years prior, and I feel like we just locked in for the, at the right time. Bucket by Ophiri Jadigale puts UC Irvine up 62-39. It's going to end up being UC Irvine basketball here. All right, we, I know it's fun sitting in this seat right now because you got Russ Turner right in front of us. Uh, at the same time, Looking over at that bench, Ryan Battertell, you're part of the staff. I know Ali Todd, but also guys that you – I think you played with Mike Wilder, didn't yep. you? You played with Mike Wilder. You played with Alex, kind of bookending your careers there on both sides of it. So to see those guys on the bench, the camaraderie, what's it like to see some of these familiar faces uh, sticking with the program? It is – It is. it's such a great feeling because I feel like a lot of us come back and show our respect to the team and everything yeah. like that. And then for those guys to come back and show the respect but also want to come back and be on staff and everything like that, I feel like it's such – a great thing and everything like that. And Wilder came back my senior year and he was like director of basketball ops. And for him to be like raise up, raise up and be the assistant coach and everything like that and to just see him develop as a coach is amazing. 62-39, UC Irvine leads with 13.54 to go. We're talking with Will Davis the second, the newest member of the UC Irvine Athletics Hall of Fame here uh, at the Bren Center tonight. All right, let's hear about your pro career going on right now. I know you're playing in the, in the G League in Henderson these days. You've been a part of the, the Team USA basketball program. How much have you just been able to enjoy playing basketball as a professional? You're being a basketball player your whole life, pretty much. Um, I love it. So after Irvine, I went straight to Greece, and then I came back, played in the G League for a couple years, and I feel like I've been able to travel to so many countries. I've had so many great coaches, and then I feel like it, I'm just soaking it all in because I know I feel like I'm on the tail end of my career now, yeah. but I feel like I've been under so many great coaches and great teammates and everything like that, so I feel like it's been a great experience so far, and I feel like I get to travel the world and doing what I love. Andre Henry just got a bucket on one side, and then we saw uh, Joe, uh, McClanahan able to score on the other. So time on the floor. We're going to stay here. 64-41 uh, right now. It's talking with Will Davis the second. Uh, again, also a pretty fun weekend, I would think, uh, being here. We had a chance to see you inducted in the UC Irvine Athletics Hall of Fame last night, part of a, an eight-person group. Must have been pretty fun and exciting to be able to, to be amongst so many really elite players and some other athletes that were on campus at the same time as you. What was it like uh, to be able to take in the night of being inducted in the Hall of Fame? It was amazing um, because coming into the event, um, they told me I was going to be inducted to, into the Hall of Fame. And then everybody's short video, like minute, minute and a half yeah. video of everybody that they showed, I didn't know what impact they had and everything like that. But I'm, I was among a lot of greats at New Sierra Mind Athletics history, and it was just an amazing experience for me. We talk about the tournament run and your memories from that in 2015. What were maybe some of the things, just from a team perspective, that that group had that I know it's hard to find, but, but for teams to achieve greatness, 
What are some of the things that it takes? What are some of these, what are some things that these guys can learn from, from your group that were able to help you get there and, and advance the tournament? I feel like one of the things we do at the end of practice or anything like that, we do a break with the team, and we always say, like, one, two, three, family. And I feel like my team, we took that serious. Everybody was almost like we were brothers with each other. We weren't just teammates. We were brothers. And so off the court, we hung out together. On the court, obviously, we had that, that camaraderie and everything like that. And it was just such a great experience with each other together. And I, I feel like we had each other's back. So we know, say we're on defense or something like that, we know we our teammate or our brother has our back. I'd also love to know, too, because you were – how many you know, defensive player of the year in the Big West Conference? How many times? I'm trying to remember. Uh, just, just once, my just sophomore once. year. Okay, my bad. All right. So, mm -hmm. you, you defensive player of the year in the conference. I mean, you were the one of the best defensive players in UC Irvine basketball history. Um, I know that's such a big part of what Russ Turner is about. Can you describe as a player what it's like when I know you're trying to score, I know you're trying to do your thing on offense, but coach is telling you defense, defense, defense. Now looking back, what was it like as a player playing for a coach like that? It was. It was. I loved it because I love Russ because Russ is a tall man himself. He's about 6'6", six, 6'7". Six, yeah. six, Tough and I one feel the like, big guys. Yeah, so I feel like Russ loves his big men. So I feel like coming into college, I wasn't that skilled. I was kind of raw. And then what I knew I could do, I could give that energy on defense. I could block shots. I was athletic. And then so I feel like Russ kind of made me bloom and everything like that. And then so he, he made me bloom, and I focused on defense and everything like that, and I knew the offense would come later, but I knew the effort in defense is something you can't teach. And that was such a really transformative time for the UC Irvine program. You just could feel like it was building and building and building as UC Irvine takes possession here up 64-41, 13 and a half minutes remaining here in the game. Um, when you think about your impact here, just, just your whole team in that era, how proud are you now to see what this program has become of consistent success? Because I know you guys were starting to get there, but it wasn't always that way when you were here. It, it, it's just been an amazing experience because obviously when I was here, it was our first time in the NCAA tournament. And then when I saw them go back to the tournament again, I actually flew from New York wow. and I came to the game when they played in San Jose. And it was, it was a great experience for me just to see them in that experience again. And then just to see how far the program has come, I feel like I see the fan support is here. We yeah. have the whiteout tonight and everything like that. And it's it's been great just to see the grow, grow, program grow and grow. Andre Henry, the free throw line right now, 64-41. As Henry in the front end of the one and one, able to get that one to drop for UC Irvine. Irvine's done a real good job shooting free throws tonight, 14 of 15 from the stripe here in this game. As the Aiders currently enjoying a 24-point lead here on their home floor. I know Hawaii is always a tough team to beat, so to be up, up 24 on these guys, I know they're not having the greatest season, but uh, was there a team that you were, like, ex especially excited to beat in your time at UC Irvine? I, Hawaii was actually one of those teams because when I was in school, Hawaii was one of those teams that talked a lot of mess to us and okay. everything All like right. that. And Turner always said it was it's very hard to beat a team three times. And so we beat them at home, we beat them in Hawaii, and then we ended up playing them in the championship game right. my senior year. And then so I, we, Turner always said it was a hard hard team to beat three times, and then it ended up being a great experience for us. Munoz just hit a three for Hawaii. He cut it to 22. Pierre Crockerell has it now. Crockerell turns, shoots, and scores. It's Will Davis not in his head. Nice to see that from <laughs> Pierre. He's a good shooter. Everyone talks about his passing. He can shoot a little bit. I was about to say, he, he's a great passer, but uh, I feel like his, his scoring gets overlooked sometimes. And he's had a good night uh, for UC Irvine here in this game. All right, Will, uh, I know that as uh, the ball ends up getting kicked around, as we'll, we'll get to another question coming up here in a second, as ball gets underneath down to De Silva. As De Silva scores in traffic, try to convert an and one here. So, I, okay, just, just I got I to gotta know this. Watching coach sitting here right here, how much are you enjoying – Seeing that and also knowing that you're not a player anymore and you get to go back to your seat in the stands here in a second. Uh, I enjoy it, and then, but I think the player should still take it in and not take everything for granted because college is a lot different than professional, and I feel like it's a lot more camaraderie. It's a lot more brotherhood and everything like that, and I feel like they shouldn't take things for granted. Yes, he's hard on you, but it's all out of love. Yeah, that's the one thing. You, you, you talk to former players – the guys, you guys love Coach Turner, and, and the, you know the, the players do too, and, and that's one of the things I think some people from the outside probably don't necessarily get to see all that love. But 
Dean Keeler gets that one. People familiar with UC Irvine basketball definitely know that. It's been cool, Will, watching your entire career. So you're in Henderson right now playing in the G League. I know you're, you're towards the end, you're saying, but uh, do you have anything left in basketball that you want to get, get going or coaching? Is that going to be an option for you? Um, Coaching, it, I always – I didn't think I was going to get into coaching, but I feel like as I've gotten older and I've matured as a player, I could see myself coaching just because of my experience and everything like that. Yeah. But um, I think I got a little bit left in the tank, so I think I'll, okay. I'm going to play a few more years just to just into, until the body gives out on me. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Well, it's been fun watching your careers. Crockwell goes up, puts up another touch shot. That time doesn't draw iron. Rebound comes out to Rapp, who's going to try to push across for Hawaii here with 11-11 to go here in the ball game. Hawaii is kind of chipping their way back into this one. McClanahan shot fake gets bumped. No whistle, blocked by Saran, and it comes back out. So reset coming for Hawaii here. 12 seconds remaining on the shot clock. Saran knocked it away. Munoz able to save it. Eight seconds now. It's Bernardo Da Silva. Da Silva trying to get around Keeler. Five seconds. Gets rid of it. Goes to the left side. McCoy fall away three. No. Long rebound. Goes out of bounds. And it's going to be Hawaii basketball when we come back. Will, we got to take a break. But it was great seeing you. Congratulations again. And looking forward to seeing a lot more of you on the court in the G League and hopefully in the NBA one of these days. We appreciate it. Thank you. I appreciate you guys having me. All right. That's Will Davis the second. We'll step aside for a moment. Plenty more here from the Brent Center with UC Irvine trying to protect. What's it, an 18-point lead right now? We'll be right back on AM830 and the AM830 app along with ESPN+. Plus.